everyone. As you will have seen, Brayden and I went for a run this morning, which is a bit different, but I was holding myself accountable to what I said the other day because I was saying in one of my vlogs how I really feel like I need to do a bit more like cardio and just get my heart rate up a little bit more because I've been feeling quite unfit. So I've been saying that I've been wanting to go for a run. So this morning, we actually did that, but not gonna lie, we picked the worst place to go for a run. Like, it's beautiful, but for my first run back, it was really quite hard. So we ran along the track that takes you to the sand dunes and then ran down the beach, and it was fine to start off with. I ran the whole first half, which was probably about one and a half kilometers, but then it got really, really sandy, and the sand kept kicking in my shoes and made my feet feel so heavy. And I ended up tripping over a twig and landing on my face, had a little cry, turned out to be an interesting run. I think we did about three and a half K all together, which was combined with a bit of running and walking. But either way, it was a good way to start the day. It was nice to get out and be by the beach. But I'm honestly just proud of myself for starting, you know, just doing a little bit and I'll build myself up to it. And it wasn't that bad, except for when I fell on my face. Since it's nearly a new month, I'm currently filming this video actually on the 26th of August, I thought that it could be fun to film another monthly reset. I did one of these just before we moved into the apartment and I really enjoyed doing that video, partly because we found out on that day that we actually got this apartment, but also all of the things that I did in that video really helped set up my month for success and made me feel really organized and I knew exactly where I was going and what my goals were. So I thought that maybe I could do another one of those videos today because things have changed a little bit throughout the last few months. So I think it's a good time to sit down, reassess goals and just have a think about like what I want the rest of the this year to hold. If you guys like these kind of videos, I can potentially make it into a series because I thought that it could be really fun to include like a monthly favorites in this video as well because I feel like people don't really watch dedicated like favorites videos anymore, but I personally really like sharing with you guys stuff that I've been enjoying and just TV shows and recommendations. So I thought for a segment of this vlog, I could sit down and chat to you guys about some of the things that I've been loving. First thing that I've been loving, is iced coffee and this is an iced vanilla latte. It is delicious. Oh, and a goal that I want to achieve as well, which I guess I actually started today, is running. I really wanna get back into running and just build up my stamina a bit more. So that is something that I wanna do in the next few months. I think it's a great thing to do in lockdown as well because obviously we can't go to the gym or anything. So it's a good like activity and measurable goal. Anyway, I will discuss my favorites and goals in more detail later on, but I just wanted to do a quick little intro and say, welcome to the vlog. All right, so I thought I would sit down with you guys and start chatting through my favorite products of the month. I tried to pick out a few things that I haven't talked about before. Well, maybe I've talked about them one or two times, but like I haven't talked about them a heap because I don't want to overwhelm you guys by talking about the same products all the time. But these are some things I have been loving that I haven't really told you guys about too much. So first of all, I want to start off by talking about golden milk. And I have been loving having this before I've been going to bed to wind down. And it's just like a really nice recovery drink. So I got mine from Garden of Life and Garden of Life is actually partnering with me on this video. I have worked with them before to promote a greens powder that they have, which I love, but they have a bunch of other products on there as well, like vitamins and supplements and protein powders. They're basically just a health and wellness store. And I recently got a few more products I've been trying out, including this golden milk, and I have been loving them. So basically, Basically, this is a herbal supplement that helps with recovery and nourishment, and it includes fermented organic turmeric with ginger, organic black pepper, and probiotics for digestion. They're actually super transparent with everything that goes into their products. Like, look at the ingredients list on the back. There's just so much on here, and that's something that Garden of Life prides themselves on. So basically, what you do is just add one scoop into your mug, and then just add hot water or warm milk. What I actually like to do is make it like it's a cup of tea. So I add quite a bit of hot water, and then just a dash of oat milk. And quite honestly, the flavor is pretty bland, which I guess is a good thing, though, because turmeric can be quite an overpowering flavor sometimes. So what I actually like to do just to give it a bit more flavor is add like a tiny bit of honey in there and mix it around and it is so nice. It tastes like a really like Christmassy cinnamon kind of drink and I've just found it really calming to have before going to bed and I honestly have had some really great deep sleep since having this as well and I don't know if that's maybe to do with the ashwagandha root that's in it but I know that can really help with like stress and anxiety and your mood. So overall this is just a really great 
supplement that I'm loving having before going to bed. I actually also got two other supplements from Garden of Life. So first of all, we have their maca root and maca is meant to really help boost energy naturally. So it's a really great thing to have in the morning, maybe in a smoothie, or you can just add it into a cup of tea. It doesn't have like a super strong taste in my opinion. Then I've also got the turmeric booster. And this is another thing that you can add into your smoothies and turmeric just has so many benefits. So I was like, I really think this will come in handy. I guess the main thing that turmeric is known for is its anti-inflammatory properties and the antioxidants in it. I will link them down below if you guys want to check them out. And if you want to check out Garden of Life, they have so many great health and wellness products on there. So definitely go and check them out. Moving on to my next favorite. It's very, very random. And you've probably seen me use these, but I've just never talked about them. And they're my frying pans. And I've got two here. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but Brayden and I bought these just just before we went into lockdown. Actually, in fact, it was on the day we went into lockdown. We're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy we've got these now because we wouldn't have been able to go to the shops. And they are the Teffel Jamie Oliver frying pans. And I've heard great things about these, but we did a lot of research and a lot of browsing when we were at the shops and we asked the staff members what they thought and they recommended these ones. It came in a pack together. We did actually get them on sale, which was really, really good because they can be quite pricey. But the reason that I wanted to mention them is just because they are so worth the money and have completely changed the cooking game for Brayden and I and have made cleaning up so much easier because before I had some Kmart frying pans and you guys know that I love Kmart, but not gonna lie, their frying pans are not the best. And they did last me a full year when I was living out of home on my own, but they really weren't doing the job. So we thought it would be a really good idea to invest in some frying pans. We got these ones, they're non-stick and they have been incredible. And another thing that has made our cooking life a whole lot better are these knives. And we got these on the same day. And I don't know if we got these from Myra or David Jones, but they're by the brand Fury. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's F-U-R-I. And we've just kept them in the box just so it looks nice. And also just like, so the knives don't get ruined by just being shoved around in a drawer. But these are another thing that are so worth the investment and spending a bit more money on. I don't think we spent like a ridiculous amount of money on these. There were definitely more knives that were way more expensive but they are so much better than our Kmart knives and they've made cooking so much more enjoyable and less scary because if I'm honest, with my other knives, I was constantly scared that I was gonna slip and chop a finger off. So these ones are much like smoother and sure they're sharper, so there probably is more risk of chopping a finger off, but you get a much cleaner and sharp cut with them and it's just made chopping up vegetables and things like that so much faster and less tedious. My next favorite is the Face Halo and I've had these for quite some time now, but I haven't really got into using them that much until recently and I'm like why because it's so much better for the environment because it's less waste and it's just so convenient I just actually hang these in my shower off of my like shower caddy and then I always have one there to grab and I just take my makeup off in the shower and you literally only need water and you've got to give your face a good scrub and I always double cleanse afterwards to make sure I get all of the makeup off but it works so well and if you find that it doesn't get all of your makeup off you can even just like pop some micellar water on here and like Treat it like a cotton round, I guess, and then wipe your makeup off that way. And it's so convenient because then you can just chuck these in the washing machine and then they're good to go and use again. So I do have a few of them so I can rotate, but these have been so useful. Now I have an essential oil to share with you guys. And this is by Lotox Lab, which is a local business in the Shire. And I got this for my birthday from my mom and it's called the Manifest Essential Oil. And it smells like wild orange, frankincense, clary sage, red banderin, blue tansy, pink pepper, and geranium. I probably said those completely wrong. But anyway, it just smells so calming. And this is honestly what I've been doing with it. Sometimes I'll just like whip it out and just sniff it and it calms me down so much. They do say that if you're feeling anxious, something that can really help is tuning in to your five senses. So one of them is obviously smell. And I find that just by like smelling this, it really just brings me to the present moment and it just calms me. I really, really like it. I also will just like roll it on my wrists and my neck and stuff, sometimes literally just dot it on my nose just so I can smell it. And it acts as a perfume as well. So it's kind of like a two in one thing. And overall, I just feel like this is something that I've been reaching for a lot more than I used to. And I've been really enjoying essential oils. Now I have a book recommendation for you guys. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving the F Word. I'm not gonna say it because I probably shouldn't on the internet and I just 
don't think I should. And this book is by the author Mark Manson. And I bought this book a few years ago and I honestly didn't really like it when I first got it, which is why I put it down and stopped reading it because in the first chapter, he drops like the F-bomb like every second, like literally every sentence he says the F-bomb. And like, I don't care, but it's just a lot and it just got a bit annoying if I'm completely honest. So I was like, oh, I'm a bit over it. But then recently I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it another go because I wanted to read a physical book before going to sleep just to help me like wind down, which has helped so much, can I just say. And I got really, really into it. He made some really great points in this book. So by the title of this book, I thought it was gonna be all about how not to care about what other people think and just to live your life for yourself. And while it is a little bit about that, I feel like they weren't like the main takeaways that I got from it. So I wanted to share with you like a few quotes from the book that I loved because they've been really playing on my mind the last few weeks since I finished the book and I've really had like an impact on the way I've been thinking. So the first thing that I loved was on page 30 and it's under the subheading that says happiness comes from solving problems. And that might sound like a little bit controversial. And at first I was like, what do you mean? Like happiness doesn't come from solving problems. But then when I read into it a little bit more, I was like, that so makes sense. He basically makes the point that problems never really get solved. They either get exchanged or upgraded and sure you solve one problem in your life but there's always going to be the next one and maybe problem's not the best word i feel like challenge is maybe a better thing but it's so true that if you're not striving towards anything and if you're not trying to move forward and make progress then honestly you probably are going to be lacking some fulfillment in life and it's just really got me thinking throughout the weeks and like when i've had a big problem and i've been stressed out about it i've thought to myself once this is solved, there's gonna be another problem. And I've kind of realized that it's honestly not a bad thing and that the reward of just solving that problem is so worth it. But what he does say is that true happiness occurs when you find the problems you enjoy having and solving. And I just think that's a really interesting perspective. Another thing that I love that he said, I actually shared on my Instagram story and it's, action isn't the effect of motivation it's also the cause of it and then he did this like little diagram that says emotional inspiration causes motivation causes desirable action and it basically continues on like a cycle and i just thought this was really interesting because i always say inspiration sparks motivation that's something that i truly do believe in like if you're feeling unmotivated try and get re-inspired and that can ignite some motivation in you to take action and then once you've taken the action usually you've got the ball rolling but i've never really thought about the other way around and just flipping it on its head and thinking that action can spark motivation but it's so true that one small action like making your bed or brushing your teeth can then snowball into a bunch of other actions which therefore like motivates you to keep going anyway i feel like this is becoming like a podcast on my youtube channel clearly i'm missing like recording all right i know i've been sitting here for ages chatting i know you guys are probably like ella can you get on with the vlog and actually move and do something different but it's now nearly lunchtime so I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I think I'm gonna have a smoothie and I'll probably pop the maca and the turmeric in it. So yeah, let's get on to making the smoothie. about again because I'm actually gonna go on a walk with my friend Jessie now we're just meeting in Cronulla and it's gonna be so nice because I haven't seen her in like over a week and I just feel like we're gonna have quite a lot to catch up on so we'll probably be out for a couple of hours and then when I get home later we'll do some goal setting and stuff and we'll get back into like the reset for the new month and maybe we'll do some planning and things like that but yeah I'm excited to go on a walk with Jessie <music> Saturday everyone I know it's a new day and I said that I was going to continue on filming in the afternoon and finish off my like little reset but by the time I got back from the walk it was actually like almost five o'clock so I thought you know what I'm going to pick the camera back up at the weekend and then film my reset because one it's closer to the new month now so I guess it's a little bit more relevant it's actually the 28th of August today and also I have a bit more time to do things properly and on the weekend I do a bit of a reset anyway especially on a Sunday as you guys know so I'm just going to be doing a really big reset this weekend and just planning out the next month and then overall I just want to do a 
clean up of the apartment because there are a few things I've been putting off doing and I'm just like, you know what, enough's enough. It's a new month soon, so I'm gonna try and get it done this weekend. And one of those things is going through our storage cage, which is downstairs and organizing it because, oh my gosh, it is the biggest mess. We have random boxes in there that need to be chucked out and I will show you guys later, but that is something that I would like to do. But for now, I'm gonna pop you guys some time lapse and I'm gonna do a quick clean up and organize of the apartment. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off That's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, get over the hillside Next job is to take the recycling down. This kind of always accumulates and we end up with quite a bunch of it. And then we have to do a trip down to the basement to drop it off. But while we're down there, we might as well go and do some decluttering of the storage cage too. <laughs> So this is our storage cage, which is huge. I've never actually shown this before, but yeah, it's pretty big, but we've just got a whole lot of clutter in here because it's like the dumping ground. Like this is the box that our couch came in, which we haven't got rid of yet. So we're gonna do that now and just organize it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna spend some time doing some planning. I feel like I've got so many different planners for different things. This one is just like a daily planner and I can just write down key dates and things like that. So I'm gonna go through and write in any appointments I have, any kind of things I know that I've got locked in and just basically make a plan for the month. I also really like to try and plan out my content a month in advance. It does change as the month goes on, but usually the brands that I am going to be working with in the following month, I've already locked in in the previous month. So I can go through and be like, okay, this video was due then for this brand and I need to send it off for approval on this date. So then I also use a blank diary to do a brain dump. I write like all sorts of stuff on here. If I think something, I write it down. What I'm gonna do right now though is write a rough plan of like the content that I'm going to be posting in September and then like I can be messy with it and move things around and then I'll enter it into this journal once I've set the dates. I love that Brayden's just playing his games in the background. You having fun? I am. Oh, you can hear me. That's good. Usually you can't hear me when I talk to you. But I have done that now. The next thing that I want to do is do some like goal setting and just check in with my goals. I think this is really, really great to do at the start of a new month. And also obviously it's a really great opportunity to set some new ones. I also like to set myself like a little to-do list, I guess, to complete for the month. So I like to come up with a new book that I want to read. I will think of like a new skill that I want to work on or like a new hobby that I want to start doing. And just basically have a think about like what I wanna put more time into and the stuff that I want to accomplish in that month. And if you don't know where to start, something really good to do is to look at the Wheel of Life. I'll insert a photo of what an example is like, but this is something that a lot of life coaches use basically to help people look at their life and see 
where they're thriving and where they need to improve on. And it's really, really interesting actually. So it basically just encourages you to look at every aspect of your life. So not just like the work area, but things like your friendship, your finances, your personal development. And it's really great to kind of rate all of these things on a scale of one to 10. So for example, in my health segment, at the moment I would probably rate that about a six out of 10. And that's just because I feel like I could be doing like a bit more exercise and prioritizing that a little bit more. So then I can write what I want to do this month to achieve that goal. So for example, I want to get into running and yeah, I can kind of figure out a way that I want to achieve that and come up with some systems. So for example, I can schedule in times that I'm going to go running and I could say, for example, every Wednesday after work, I'm going to go for a run. And I feel like that way it's much easier to achieve. So I'm going to spend some time doing that and I'll let you guys know what I come up with. So I have been planning for about an hour. I feel like that was so productive, honestly. I've come up with a bunch of things that I want to achieve for September. And I've written kind of like a monthly to-do list. So like my big things I want to get done, which includes like update my YouTube banner, which is so outdated. So hold me accountable guys, cause I'm gonna try and update that. I want to start organizing the office. I've got big plans in there. And then I've got a bunch of like career things that I want to do next month that I can't really talk about. Then this is my wheel of life. I won't show you guys up close cause it is very personal, but basically the segments that I chose were family, fitness, friends, career, personal development, self care, finances, relationship, and food like health and then i just rated them out of 10 and wrote like how i can improve on these things for next month and then on the next page i planned out some things that i wanted to buy read watch and things like that during september so first of all the book that i have chosen to read is called the resilience project i actually posted on my instagram story the other day asking for some recommendations from you guys and you had so many i'll pop some on the screen here that you guys suggested but the resilience project came up a few times so that is what i want to read i'm gonna buy the book on amazon i'll probably get it on prime so it arrives super soon i'm gonna do that tonight if you guys want to check out the book i'll link it down below and then maybe we can like all read together that would be so fun to be able to kind of report our thoughts on the book now the two buy section this is basically just a wish list of stuff that i would like to get next month i don't have to get it but it's just good to write it down so it's front of mind then to watch i've decided that i want to watch the whole of the home edit Oh, I've started watching it. It's so good. It's basically an organization show. And one of you guys actually recommended it to me. So thank you so much for that. I've been really enjoying that. Then I went on to write a financial goal for next month and I wrote how I was going to achieve that goal. So just like things that I was going to do differently next month to help me get there. So we will see what comes true by the end of September, but that was just really, really helpful, honestly. So I really encourage you guys to do the same thing. Now I'm gonna spend some time doing a digital declutter on my laptop and my phone. I really do need to spend some time deleting a bunch of photos and videos off of my phone because lately my storage keeps getting full and it's just something I never make time to do. So I'm gonna do that now and also delete a bunch of stuff off of my desktop. So let's get to it. for some dinner. Brayden and I made some HelloFresh tonight. We made the Tex-Mex chicken, which looks so good. So we're gonna have this, watch some TV, and I'll check in with you guys after. Dinner was delicious. We're now gonna watch some Harry Potter and just chill out for the rest of the night. And I was actually planning on going through my finances for my monthly reset in this video as well. But I thought actually I might wait until like the new month just because it's best for me to wait until like I can see all of my earnings throughout the month and all of my spendings. And since we're technically not at the very end of the month yet, it would just be silly to do it early if that makes sense. So I'll explain what I do in case you guys are interested. But every single month I go through and tally up my income and add it into a spreadsheet. And I also transfer a certain amount of money over into another account for GST. So that is something I do at the end of each month. Another thing I do is make a spreadsheet of all of like my work expenses so that when it comes to tax time, I'm not overwhelmed and have like to backtrack a bunch of expenses and figure out what everything I paid for 
was for. So I do that each month. And then I also just like file any receipts that I will need at tax time as well. And that's pretty much all I do, but I am going to wait until the start of next month so I can look at this month as a whole. But I hope you guys found this video interesting and maybe a little bit helpful. I feel like it was super, super chatty. I never know if you guys really love chatty videos or if you prefer me to just keep the chatting minimal and do like more montages. I'm not sure, but I guess it's good to do a bit of everything. So if you guys enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.